to have a schedule is something on that I'd say along the lines would be, you know, everyone has a schedule, right? Be it you know you have one or you don't know you have one. Like you wake up in the morning and you you eat your breakfast, all right? You do that for a certain amount of, even if it's not something you do on a daily basis, it's still your schedule, but then... Though that type of schedule can be considered a impromptu schedule. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going with, but you know, the, the, today's topic is about schedules. I'm Josh V. Castro, and I'm going to try my best to actually share with you why having a schedule is a very important, especially for content creators such as myself. And you watching, because you know, at the end of the day, we're all content creators. We create content. We take a picture. We put it on media. That is content for the whole world to see. Even if it's just your family, we are, you know, still at the end of the day, content creators. But you know, specifically to you guys, especially you know, if you're creating a YouTube channel or you're in, you're on Instagram, or whichever platform you choose. Uh, creating a schedule is ideally something you'd want to take into consideration because of how powerful it can be if utilized correctly. You know, like what Jordan Peterson said, all right, make a damn schedule and stick to it, all right? Because if you stick to it, you know, if you stick to the schedule and, you know, sticking to a schedule is not easy. It, it is, It is by far... One of one, if not well, not the most, but it is a challenging thing to inculcate into your life. All right, I'll explain further why. Uh, and if you've tried sticking to a schedule, I'm like diligently, because you're not gonna hit it a hundred percent. That's for sure. All right, but the fact that you're actually trying, uh, but compared to not even attempting, then there there's gonna be a big significance. There's gonna be a big, uh increase in we'll say productivity okay so yeah that's why having a schedule is important and i am not ending this here because i have nine minutes to talk and we are not even three minutes in so i'm gonna try my best yeah this was not how i wanted it to be but you know this is what this project's about if you guys don't already know this is project nine minute video i'm not supposed to segue to that i'm just supposed to stick to the topic which is about schedule. See, I have lots of improvement. Now I'm talking about myself. See, you know, this is what you call rambling. All right, I'm sorry. All right, we'll cut that. Well, actually, I can't cut that because this is part of the project. Anyway. All right, let me let me try to see if I can compose myself really quick. All right, so there's tools that you can use to benefit yourself when it comes to making a schedule. I'm like, there's apps, there's paper you can just write down your schedule there's a spreadsheet i use a spreadsheet it works wonders all right making a spreadsheet you know listing the the hours that you want to spend on something you know there's this system called systems where you batch your days into systems like so for the first part of the day this could be like your work the second part of the day leisure and then taking account of the time you use during the day is actually very you know, beneficial because you actually know where time is going rather than, oh, it's at the end of the day. What did I do today? What have I accomplished? What, where, where, where did my, where did my set goals for today, for today go? Did I do them? Did I accomplish them? Why didn't I accomplish them? Wait, I don't have no more time because it's already time for bed. So yeah, those are probably the things if you have not been or if you've experienced not having a schedule and you're just living the day, you know, dilly-dallying, you know, wondering what to do next. So that's the problem with not having a schedule. See, by having a schedule, you 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 actually are more inclined to accomplish the goals that you set for the day. And then you it doesn't take willpower because, you know, there's there is a concept of willpower here. That's actually very important because, you know, we only have a certain amount of willpower per day. But this this topic is not about willpower, but just, just listen to me here. All right. So if you have a schedule, it'll take less willpower for you 
to actually accomplish the goals that you set during the day. All right, let me let me rephrase that. All right, less willpower because you have a schedule to do your goals. All right, which is a good thing. That means you have more willpower to actually do the things that you have to do. All right, why? Because it's already set. All right? You don't have to think about what you're going to do. You don't have to think about what tasks you have to accomplish because it's already, you know, in a schedule. All right, during during 2 to 5, I have to work. Okay, and then makes you think, all right, what do I have to work between 2 to 5? It doesn't have to be, oh, what do I have to do today? When do I have to do it? Because you already know when you have to do it. All right, it's between 2 to 5. All right, those three hours, you're going to be straight focused on, what you got to do and that will just increase your productivity substantially or you're not going to hit it a hundred percent like i said before but it's better than it's you know 70 percent is better than zero percent all right you get what i'm saying at least you're doing something that can actually you know jump start your your day your or finish your day rather rather than wishful thinking and imagining, okay, yeah, that happened. See, what what happened? I don't know, but it's already it's already nighttime, and you're still lost. So, see how see see how amazing a schedule can be when it comes to productivity. I'm like, you know, we're all human beings, you know, um, but having a schedule like you know having a set time to eat having a set time to sleep you know setting your fitness goals because you know we all want to get fit you know that that inculcated into your life is such a powerful tool but then there's there's also the issue of when i said that this is having a schedule is going to be challenging no well it is because you have to well, if you're alone, then yeah, of course, it's also going to be challenging because you're alone. I'm like, you have no one else to be accounting for yourself except yourself, which is, you know, ideally a good thing if you have the willpower to do so. But there's not every, it's not for everyone, you know. Some people need a push, all right, especially if you're young, all right. That's why, you know, your parents tell you to brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. But then when you grow up and then you, you're, you have no one telling you to brush your teeth. Would you brush your teeth? Highly likely, probably not. Unless there's a reminder, or hence a schedule, uh, telling you when and to brush your teeth. So, but then again, when, you know, you, you have a partner, you you have a family, you have to be considerate about them when they eat, what you do. So, yeah, then you have to build a schedule around them or you have to compromise. So, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing, all right? Because, you know, you have to live in an ecosystem where everyone can grow, all right? So I I can actually talk more about having a schedule, but this is this is my thoughts about what, why having a schedule is so important right now. All right, I might delve into this topic again in the future where it's a more inculcated video. But, you know, for now, this is going to be nine minutes. And I think my time is almost up. So if you guys did find value out of this, and hopefully you're going to make a schedule, all right? I, I implore you to make a schedule. There's apps everywhere. I'll leave those in the link in the description. And I will see you next time. I'm Josh V. Castro, and that's nine minutes.